two Guyanese citizens have instituted private criminal charges against the chairman of the Guyanese Elections Commission, Justice Claudette Singh. The charges were filed by attorneys for Onita Walcott of Victoria Village East Coast Damarara and Keith Odan of Central Amelius Ward Mackenzie Linden in the Georgia Magistrates Court this morning. The charges include misconduct in public office to common law. Odan is alleging that between March 16th and May 18th, the Chairman of the Ghana Elections Commission acted recklessly and unlawfully when she disregarded the advice of the Legal Office of the Ghana Elections Commission and the Chief Parliamentary Council, which indicated that the recount of the votes of the March 2nd general and regional elections was unlawful. According to Attorney at Law James Bond, this is not a light issue, and it was done with a heavy heart on his own part. Give her the, the respect and adoration I have for Justice Singh. And so, however, I think the citizens, as an attorney, you can't um, pick and choose who asks for help. You know, you can't pick and choose who asks for help. I would not be doing the matter. I think Mr. Edwards will be doing the matter. Um, but um, I think that we, we, we deserve some, some outcome. I think Guyanese deserve some outcome where they feel that they, they, they have been aggrieved. Um, so that's Bond said Justice Singh will be served during the course of the day and the matters are set for the 5th of August. Yeah, it's not a light task. It's not something that I, I think um, we should uh, celebrate holding public officials to account in this manner. It is not something that I take lightly. It's not something I wish that it didn't have to be this way. But these citizens felt that they had to take some action as they were, they were not getting the kind of satisfaction they, they, they desired they did and they, they, they longed for during this whole electoral process. Um, like, like any Guyanese, I wish this all would end and I urge persons to be patient as we wind down um, the elections of March 2nd. We could only advocate in this manner. I know there are options available, but I know any right-thinking Guyanese will be happy that the citizens are taking their matters before the court and not elsewhere. You would recall earlier that private criminal charges were filed against the CEO, Keith Lowenfield.